Well, you probably don't think of wooded lakefront, but there is such a piece of property right next to Worth Park. And it happens to be one of the largest pieces of undeveloped land with a lakefront near Minneapolis. And now, a developer wants to build homes on it. WCCO 4 News reporter Mike Walsh joins us live to show us why that idea is not going over well with everyone. Mike? Well, Billy, uh, on the map, this is Twin Lake, but the locals call it Hidden Lake. And I think you can see why. We're just a few miles from downtown. And yet it feels really isolated, much like you're in a park up north. And some in Golden Valley wanted to stay just this way. But a developer looks at this piece of land and he sees 176 high-priced homes. Meet Golden Valley homeowner Glenn Helgeson. He comes to this lake to find solitude. This is the only place where I have found to go to have solitude and refuge. I mean, you come here, you almost feel like you're not even in the Twin Cities. And we're only putting... And meet developer Bob Schmidt, who believes Twin Cityans need new and quality homes in a natural setting near downtown. We're very sensitive to the beauty of the land, and, and we want to maintain it that way. That's what really is going to draw the people here. Bob Schmidt bought this land a couple of years ago and wants builders to put up villas and townhomes, something like these. He also wants to build 10 homes priced up to a million dollars each on the peninsula between Sweeney and Twin Lakes. We aren't going to flatten the peninsula. The, we're doing no mass grading whatsoever. It's all going to be individual custom builders. Helgeson admits million dollar homes could boost property values and cut taxes. Still, he argues, not worth it. If there's homes that go in here, it'll be changed forever. And it's such a, a sacred area and it's such a refuge that it really should be preserved. What's more important is, is our immediate economics or home values important. What about 100 years from now when land is going to be even more sacred, even more fought over and more precious? The developer pledges to take out no more than 30% of the trees. And he denies any claim that builders would destroy the property or harm spring-fed Twin Lake. You've got this beautiful piece of land that that is being underutilized, this is really going to be master planned by nature. Uh, it kind of lends itself, it's just one small way in and, and uh, um, it's pretty secluded and sheltered here.